Hello, hello, Libra, and welcome in to Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today is June 25th, and we are going to be looking into the focus wheel. Okay. Libra, you're hung upside down. Libra, there's somebody that's coming in with fights. Libra, you're looking for your stability. I'm going to go through all these cards and we're going to see if we need anything else because I want to show them to you. I will clarify them. Please stay till the end as I have an oracle message for you. You, you open up the reading today, Libra, with the hangman. It means that you are not deciding on something. This is that you're holding back. This is standing back. This is not wanting to make a decision. However, not making a decision, it's like you want to take a step, but you just don't. You don't know. You just don't want to take a step. The Knight of Swords. Listen, somebody spoke some truth lately. Somebody is being very forceful and they're very stressed out over the truth. Listen, this could be you. You may be stressed the fuck out about some truth that's coming in. Four of Pentacles. You are trying to hold on to your stability. This is a man who... Um, it's not a man. <laughs> well, yeah, it is a man. But this is a person who holds on to his stability simply because he believes that that's going to give him... You know, he holds on to his money because he thinks that that's going to give him some stability. Listen, for some of you, there is change coming in. There is definite change. There is news that is going to change everything for you. This is something different. This is something new. This is something unexpected. You also have here, I'm going to take them in the order that they came out. You also have here the four of vessels. Some of you are not seeing the truth. It looks like you are depressed about something that you nurtured for a long time and now it's, you're discontent. You're not happy right now. You're not happy over something. You are very disappointed, Libra. You're so disappointed that you're looking at all of the empty cups and you can't even see that there's one cup either that you're offering to someone Either somebody's offering this cup to you or you want to offer a cup to someone. However, you're still looking at your three empty cups. Libra, you also have the nine of cups. This is wishes being granted. You don't even see this yet, but wishes are going to be granted for you. This is somebody making wishes and their wishes coming fucking true. This is the nine of swords. Libra, you are, you are right now in a space of losing sleep. You are going through some, some anxiety. This could be a mental breakdown. It could be you feeling weak. It could be you just not wanting to get out of bed some days. The ace of saves. You're making plans on starting a brand new passionate beginning with someone. You're stepping into your own power and you are being very, very determined on winning this person over. You also have the Knight of Cups. Definitely wanting to give someone an offer. However, you don't know if this offer is good enough. And this is you finally making a choice to depart a situation for good. This is starting a brand new journey. This is taking a short voyage. It is stepping away. This is moving away from somebody who can live far away from you. This could be distance. However, it is somebody leaving the equation. Why is a hangman here for Libra? The magician, Jesus Christ. What are you manifesting? Let's find out what you're manifesting. What is Libra trying to manifest? 
Five of Swords. Listen, your manifestation, whatever it is, I believe it's a passionate new beginning. Your manifestation is going to cause you a lot of problems. It's going to it's going to cause somebody to come in and argue and fight with you over the craziest things. Okay? You're not going to get peace from this person, I'm going to tell you right now. This person is always angry. And guess what? Now they're competing with someone. You know, they're finding themselves lost in the equation. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Libra? Okay, I'm only going to take the first one that fell, which was this one. The Eight of Pentacles. Some of you stepped away from this situation because you were going to be financially better off. Some of you may have brought some truth to you. Somebody may have given you some truth that made you get go into a decision making where you you know, you have money coming in. I just feel that you were giving money to somebody and somebody was clear about that. And now you're working on more money, making more money. Why do you have a Yeah, you know what? You're you're being a, <laughs> you're, some of you the the energies can be reversed. Keep in mind, some of you are dealing with somebody who's a miser. Some of you are dealing with somebody who doesn't really, you know, who's looking to you for just stability. Or you're looking for somebody, towards somebody for stability. You know, and you're looking for a second chance. You want forgiveness from something. You want forgiveness from someone. You're thinking about the past. You're thinking about the past and you want to reconcile with someone. Why is the eight of staves here? Broken hearted. You're waiting for a message to come in. I think you are feeling broken hearted. You're waiting for a message to come in, but it might be a message that breaks your heart. This may not be something that you are expecting. You want some change. However, I feel that the change that you are looking for is going to leave you broken hearted. Let's see what I have here. Let's see what else. Okay. Seven of Swords. Somebody is sneaky. If this is you, you're being sneaky about a situation or you were sneaky about a situation. There could have been a three-party relationship, you know, that changed everything. However, there's somebody still being sneaky with this. Why is the Four of Vessels here? Why is the Four of Vessels here? Oh, boy. Two queens. Okay, so you got two queens. One of them... One of them speaks her mind and doesn't... She makes her a firm decision and she sticks by it. And the other woman is a woman who's trying to independentize herself. This is a woman who wants to be successful with her money. This is a woman who has worked hard to get to her nine, you know, to her, to her nine of pentacles. I see it as, you know, very luxurious. But you have here the queen. She is very luxurious. She likes to find her things in life. And you have here... You know, listen, this could be the same woman. This could be the same woman. This could be the same woman who made a decision that she was going to take care of herself, period. That she was going to finally independentize herself. Why do you have the... Okay. I can't take all of them, but I will take this one. The Three of Cups, celebrations. Your wishes are coming true. You're going to be able to celebrate with friends and family. Libra. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Ten of Pentacles. You are stressing about a family. You are stressing about what you have right now. You are stressing about having a happy home. This is what you're looking for. You're looking for your happy home. You're looking for your Ten of Pentacles. You're looking for the family, the dog, the cat, the pig. You are looking for everything that life has to offer. You want the house, you have the money. However, you're stressing over this because maybe 
this is just not being possible for you right now because this queen of swords has made a decision this queen of swords even though you want a passionate beginning libra why is the ace of saves here for libra the emperor listen you are coming in as a changed man you are coming in. You've changed. Lord knows you have changed. There has been a transformation in your life. I feel that there's a transformation in your life where you have changed, where you have upscaled yourself to a man of honor, to a man who follows orders, who keeps boundaries. This is a very powerful person. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here for Libra? Why is the chariot here for Libra? Ace of Cups. You're moving away to a love relationship. It's a decision that you have made. You are moving away from the situation that you were involved with in the past. This was a three-party situation and you moved away from that because you want to offer this queen of yours, this queen of pentacles, you want to offer her a cup of love and a passionate new beginning what i get please universal energy spirit guides and ancestors please let me see one oracle card for libra sun moon rising and venus for libra sun moon rising and venus please universal i'm only gonna take one the first one because these readings get just too long <laughs> quest there you go quest be bold and mighty. Forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors the brave. Listen, you're going to have to be brave and you're going to have to offer. You're going to have to offer and you're not going to be able to be. You're going to have to forget about the rejection that you may think that you may get. You know, you're just going to have to step up to the plate and make that offer. I hope that this was able to give you all some kind of clarity. Thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as it helps it grow. And I bring you messages every day to help you along your journey. Thank you so much and enjoy your day. Take care.